y'all welcome and or welcome back to my channel it's your girl alexis takira thank you for clicking on this video in today's video as you can tell by the title we're doing a luxury high-end makeup video i know i always kind of use luxury products but i also kind of incorporate drugstore products but today we're doing a full full high-end makeup video but before we jump in, make sure y'all go ahead and hit the subscribe button because honestly, y'all, I'm watching the I'm watching the analytics. I've been looking at my analytics, right? And I can't help but notice that y'all coming back, watching my videos, but y'all not subscribing. So that right there in itself, it's giving commitment issues, okay? It's given I got commitment issues. I don't want to fully commit, but you might as well because you are already here. Now, we all kind of suffer from commitment issues every now and then. Even I do, but we got to start somewhere. So, we can start by hitting the subscribe button, okay? We can start by hitting the subscribe button and giving this video a big thumbs up. Okay, so first off, let me just say that I know my lighting sucks, okay? I messed around with it for about... 30 40 minutes this is the best it's gonna get so let's just keep it moving this is my dior forever matte foundation if y'all watch my review on this and y'all know how much i love this foundation since i bought it some things to be aware of with this foundation it does have a scent to it a slight scent you know so i do have like sensitive skin but the smell does not bother me so you know, if smells don't really bother you, then you might be good with this. And I'm using the shade 4.5 Warm, 4.5 W. Same shade I use in the Dior Forever Matte. And if y'all haven't watched that review on this foundation, I'll leave it linked below for y'all. For concealer, I'm taking my Hourglass Vanish Concealer. I love this concealer, and it's in the shade Dune. It, like, has this perfect neutral undertone to it. I love a neutral or yellow concealer. Nothing. If I was going through something, I'd be drinking hard liquor. No, you know hard liquor don't work for you. Well, if I was going through something, that's what I'd be drinking. I just like the wine. I mean, it's Friday. Why it's not? It's better. Oh, now you like that. <laughs> oh my gosh! Listen, y'all. My like mama it. just came by, and she brought me this. Taylor Port, Tawny Port. This is my favorite wine. And for some reason, she calling me a drunk, an alcoholic, because I like a little wine. But <laughs> I told her, look, if I was a drunk, I'd be on liquor, okay? I'd be having my crown royal, my Hennessy right now. But this is wine. Y'all come say hey to the camera. So you telling people what I said? <laughs> It's mine. Come say hey to the camera. <laughs> they done seen you before. <laughs> so for contour, this is, I haven't used this contour in a very, very long time. This used to be my favorite contour, but then I kind of tossed it to the side when I started using my Fenty Beauty. But... We're going to use this today. I believe this concealer costs about $28. So, yeah, it's on the high end side. Oh. And she must have been real tired because Jayla got in the car and fell asleep. She don't never do that. It was a long day. 
yeah. had to be. So another product that I absolutely love, this was one of my first starter contour kits that I just, what I purchased when I first started makeup. And like I said, you know, when you find new stuff, you kind of throw your old stuff to the side and then you start, you know, forgetting about the stuff. So as y'all can see, I hit pan on this a long time ago. This was my shade because it has a warm undertone. This one is more neutral. This one is more red. So I'm going to try to scrape out what I can out of this little part right here. But trust and believe, I'm going back to Ulta or Sephora today to get another one. So as I was baking, I went ahead and took my ColourPop Your Golden palette. This is one of my favorite palettes. I think I showed y'all this in a previous video. But I just, for my eyes, I took this shade called Covet. And then I went in with this shade called Cruise. It's kind of like a um a taupey, nudish, grayish. I see a little bit of I see a little bit of gray. I mean, not gray. I see a little bit of like purple or something in it. So it's it's like a neutral purple taupey <laughs> type color. But this palette is so, 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 so beautiful. So beautiful. If you're into these colorful looks, you know, you'll really like this palette. Y'all know I don't wear colors like this. I would love to do this one day, but I stuck to the two um, matte shades and yeah but overall this is a really beautiful palette i think i paid 33 dollars for it so yeah color pop for setting powder i know i didn't mention my setting powder because i was talking to my mama but i went in with laura mercier honey setting powder and so now we're just gonna go ahead and jump into blush you know the blush kind of bring everything together so i'm excited about this blush so i have two options for blush First off, let me just say, for my eyeliner, I went in with the brown eyeliner. Y'all know, I told y'all about this in one of my previous videos. I love a good brown eyeliner these days. The black wings still do its thing, but a brown pen, oh my gosh. Like, it, for one, it brings out the color of the eyes, you know. It really does accentuate your eye color. And it just looked more natural and it looks more like, I guess, smoky in a sense. I've been loving these. So I went ahead and picked up two of them. This is the ColourPop. This is, I didn't feel the need to include this in the video because it is ColourPop. So it's drugstore as well as the palette. So that's why I went ahead and did it off camera. But um, if y'all wondering, if you're interested in getting this, which I highly suggest, this is the ColourPop, um, gel, <clears throat> ColourPop gel liner in the shade. Sunny Veil. I went ahead and got two of these because they just do what it do for me. So, for blush, I have two options. Silk Glow Duo and it's the, um, it says Coral Glow for the blush. Or I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Peachy Love Trio. Y'all seen me use this a few times. So, but this blush has like a shimmer to it. I'm not using the blush in this. I'm only going to use the highlight. So, for the blush, I will be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Peachy Love Palette. Y'all can see I hit pan. I do believe this blush trio, I bought this years ago, so I don't really remember how much I paid for it. But just know it's high end, of course. It's Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm taking this lighter shade right here. Mommy, 
Well, Jayla, you can make people do what you say. Like, that's, that's not how life works. <laughs> you can't make her do what you say, okay? Now, you can ask her nicely if she wants to play with you, but you cannot make her play, okay? All right. I love you. Okay, so for highlight this is such a beautiful packaging like i love me some gold packaging y'all know that's my favorite color okay so i'm taking this gold i don't know like it's a very like champagne light gold i don't know if it's gonna be good for me but i'm about to just see if this don't work out then i'm taking my becca and just use that. I'm just going to go over it with my Becca Champagne Pop Highlight. For mascara, I'm taking my NARS Climax Mascara. Okay, so the makeup look is pretty much complete at this point. So what I'm doing now is just, I'm going to go and, who's that little boy running through the backyard? Mm -mm. Okay, so I went off camera. I did my last minute stuff. Put my earrings in, put my necklaces on, um, my nose ring everything i have to honestly say i'm not really feeling this makeup look today i don't know if it's because of the highlight that i use i'm probably gonna take this back i'm not even gonna lie because i'm not a big fan of the blush neither am i a big fan of the highlight in the iconic london silk glow <laughs> duo but uh i don't know i honestly don't know but i'm not really feeling it today but it's on here now we're gonna try to make the best out of it so um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Like, I really don't have anything else to say to you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this. You know, sometimes we all like to indulge in a little bit of splurging. We all like to spend money on ourselves just to treat ourselves. Because spending money on ourselves and treating ourselves, looking out for ourselves, is a form of self-care. So, if you don't feel bad, if you want to go and spend some coins on makeup, clothes, shoes, hair... Whatever it is, it's always nice to treat yourself. So, with that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed this luxury high-end makeup tutorial. If you did, give this video a big, big thumbs up before you leave. And as I mentioned before, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my channel. So, y'all can go ahead and officially, officially, officially join the family. Because I see y'all watching. I see you watching. So, you might as well join, okay? So... I'll see y'all beautiful people in my next video. I hope y'all have a blessed one.